Can you hear the mail truck coming? Don't you just like look out the window or like open the door impatiently, especially if you're waiting on a package or something and the mail to come in. And then when it doesn't come in, you're like pretty bummed. It's like a kid on Christmas who doesn't get gifts, you know? That's how I feel because I'm waiting on a package. So, so I'm going to go get Shiloh and we're going to hang out for the day. She's planning on like spending like the rest of the week with my dad. So I don't have to worry about finding a babysitter all week. So that's good. Um, she likes going over there because she gets to play and have a good time and, you know, I'd rather do stuff like that than be bored at the house, you know. Plus, if my dad is getting her for a whole week, I'm letting that happen. It's not like he doesn't do it but all the time, but he, uh, it's like if he wants to spend time with my child, by all means, she needs some sort of male figure in her life. Might as well be my dad, even though it's kind of crazy to say. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, and I changed my nose ring. I don't know what's going on with my other nose ring. But this is a little bit smaller, so it like feels weird. And I've only had it in for a few days, so you can you can totally see my bra in this. Wasn't planned. Let me just go that way. I just put on a tank top today because it's my day off and I want to like wear something comfortable. If you can't tell, I just got out of the shower. But I'm going to get some coffee before I head out to get shower. And just, we're just going to hang out for the day. Um, I'm going to go get my nails done. I was planning on going, I was planning on starting the day earlier, like by an hour earlier and it's like 10 20 right now almost you know, it's like 10 20 i was right so um i was meaning to like leave out the door at nine but i didn't wake up until nine so of course and i need coffee so i mean and i'm dreading going to the nail salons because like everybody and their mama's gonna be there but i've got to get my nails done like I have to like I don't know if I can go another day without getting them done you know so um I hung out with Shala today and my niece Layla. I didn't film it or anything like that because out of respect for my stepsister and her husband, I didn't know if they want if they cared if my if Layla was in the in the video. So I just didn't do it out of respect for that. I took the girls to Walmart and to um hi below so they can get some candy because you know the girls, you know, they wanted to have some candy and get some little things. But, um, now I got Dylan in the car with me. And, uh, we're just gonna go to the vape shop. He wants to go to the vape shop or something. I don't know what she wants. Some little ones. I think his money is burning a hole in it. I was gonna get my nails done today, but I went and they told me that I needed to get get an appointment. So, I wasn't able to get an appointment until next Wednesday. And I'm hoping I'm not working next Wednesday. Because if I am, I'll be livid. But I'm pretty sure no. You know what I'm saying? Unless something changes. But what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna just reschedule and just do another appointment that way. Oh my god. Um. Anyway, 
Um, but I'm glad to be back on my side of town because everybody and their mama was being stupid today. So, it's like ever since they lifted where like we can go out more and this, that, and other, but we gotta wear masks and stuff like that, it's been like hell. It's been like, um, like people just acting crazy. Like, my stepsister was telling me about she got in a car accident over the weekend and then some guy almost hit her yesterday. And I'm like, oh, Lane, like, what is going on with people? And, like, no, not, not thinking. I mean, they're crazy. They're going crazy because they're let out of the house. I mean, that's just the obvious thing. So, but, uh, yeah. I'm just going to go and we're just going to go and uh, get some. He wants to get some stuff from the vape store, right? Yeah. What are you getting? Why do you mean that system? Like what? I don't know. You got money though? I got like 60. I gotta get gas in. But I'm going going out here. I mean, I've been out here like once already today. You know, it's gonna be the second time coming out here. Yeah, I, I like I wanted to go with you but to get shot a little bit. I left early though. Plus, I knew you had to, had to finish up your school and stuff. I just thought of this in here. Damn, they busy. No, we're not working. They're not that busy though. They've got like five cars in the drive. Everything's slowly getting back to normal. It's just taking time, you know? I'm gonna see if mom would loan me some money to go down. If, if I do go down to con to the concert, I'm gonna see if she's gonna she can loan me some money to yeah. go down with, and I'll pay her back. Just so that I can have like a little bit of spending cash and stuff like that, you know. To bring your juice. Um, Shala throwing all my stuff back there earlier so that Layla can ride in the back, yeah. so it should be back there. I don't know where at though. Did I get a package today? home and I began to start on tie-dyeing because uh, I'll show you a little bit of what I'm doing but like um basically I'm just testing out some tie-dye to see what works for when we do tie-dyeing on whenever I see shawl again so I've got a bleach one that I'm gonna like bleach tie-dye and then I've got Where's my white one? I've got a white one here that I'm gonna do. 
so we'll see we'll see how that works so I gotta pour some water into the bottles so this is gonna be nerve-wracking y'all I got a new vape today and um this is a different brand this is from the brand I don't know what the brand's name is iJoy and um it is the show Shogun Jr. I like it it's cool look at the rainbow it's cute it's pretty um <clears throat> so yeah oh so the tie-dye thing came out really well um if you want to see it's on my tiktok um i'm gonna try to show you guys the results here and a few more clips down the road maybe um i gotta wait like 24 hours for it to fully like soak and get right with the with the dye but i did do the black and i also did that on my tiktok so um if you want to Go check it out definitely um go check out my tiktok it's glitter mama it's easy to find me it's easy to find me on there so but i want to show you what the black tie tie dye shirt that i bleached tie dyed whatever it's called um you guys can technically like tell me down in the comments what the technical name is for but i think it's called bleach tie dye i'm not really sure anyway i'm gonna show you what it looks like so so here's what it looks like. I'm really happy with it. I did a, like one of those skinny strap ones. Here's the the back of it. Okay. Looks really, really cool. Turned out really, really great. I basically just like bundled like different spots. Um, and then the middle I bundled. And then I bundled like the rest of it together. And surprisingly, like I got so much bleach on this, but it didn't. See, it's still black, so I like it. It looks really cool. Yay. So I'm really happy with that. Can't wait for it to dry. I washed it already on its own in the washer. So that's good. Really happy. Mm. Um, so yeah. <coughs> I'm sitting in the drive-thru at cookout because I'm hungry. I haven't ate anything all day long. And what was the lady doing? See that girl right there walking? Oh, she just works here. Never mind. Um, so I ain't ate nothing all day because we'd been super slammed at work. And uh, so I didn't get a chance to eat. I pissed once and that was right after we closed. I think the last time that I pissed was when I was at home, went before I left work. Um, so it's bad. I know you're probably going to be screaming at me like, oh, holding your bladder is not healthy for you. I already know that. Like, it's just kind of very difficult when you're slam balls walls to the fucking road and the only thing open is your drive through. So obviously can't do shit about it. But I'm getting so fucking burned out. Like, I'm so tired of being busy all the time. I mean, I'm not complaining because, like, people are paying my paychecks, you know, coming in and everything. But it's just, like, I'm so fucking burned out, you know. And, like, I'm so tired of being shorthanded. And, like, like my brother, he works there. My youngest brother, he, he used to work there. He worked there for, like, maybe, like, two months. And he just, he just quit today. So, like, and the thing of it is, is I was really upset because he lied to me and he told me that 
he uh he he was just calling out he didn't he didn't say that he quit until my boss told me and I was like yay thanks a lot for lying to me I hate people that lie to me so it's been a hellacious day hopefully tomorrow will be better I mean tonight is Friday night so obviously expected I mean Saturday probably too worried about being shorthanded tomorrow uh, on Sunday though because my brother works Sunday and my brother was only an extra hand for the for tonight and tomorrow night <clears throat> so it wasn't like real bad I mean but still on a Friday night I do need that extra hand for to pack or run around and do shit but I guarantee you if he was working tonight we wouldn't have been busy that's usually how it rolls when we have plenty of help we're not busy <laughs> oh, we're not as busy at, well we don't feel like we're as busy if that makes sense does that make sense I don't know but anyway <sighs> can't wait to get my nails done I can't wait to get a pedicure I've actually put a I put in an appointment for the nail salon for next Wednesday. So, cook out this pot from tonight. I had to transfer some money over from my savings so I can pay for my food. I'm trying to save up this money for the concert. And I'm so excited to go. So excited to go, yo. Can't wait. I'm telling you, cookout is popping tonight. Like it's like everybody's hanging out there. I guess because nobody can go anywhere else. I mean, they can, but can't. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm kind of curious to see how, like, when I go to the nail salon. Um next week how they're gonna do it I know they are requiring us to wear masks but I've got plenty of masks to wear so I'm not I'm not worried about that so this car in front of me is from Texas so anybody from Texas holla <laughs> so it's been a really crazy week <clears throat> I mean, you've, if you've heard all the news and everything about that guy and the police officer killing that, that black guy, I can't remember his name, George something. Um, it's really sad. Um, and when it happened, I knew that it was going to be a huge uproar. It's gotten so bad that there are protesters and there are like people who were marching today in my town, which is very rare. I mean, well, I mean, not really rare, but like just um, like marching, you know what I'm saying? And, um, if you go on Facebook and you do WLOS News 13, Asheville, North Carolina, go on Facebook and you can see all, all of it. Um, they used tear gas. They had like, like police, like barricading, like the way, um, on this bridge and, um, downtown, it was crazy. Um, actually a person that I, that I follow on Facebook um, they were down there and it was tear gas and, um, it's just really scary y'all. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here all over the country, people like vandalizing and shit, which I think honestly, if you're going to protest, um, and you're going to march and you're going to do all that, that's fine. As long as it's peaceful. But when it comes down to like vandalizing 
and making the whole state, the whole country, um, basically in danger and in fear. It's not a protest at that point. It's people just being crazy. And I know there's going to be a lot of people that are like freaking out and like cussing me out in the comments and saying, well, you don't understand, blah, blah, blah. I am not racist, y'all. I don't have a racist bone in my body. I treat everyone equally. I don't see color. I don't see sex. I don't see any of that. Okay, I don't see if you are gay or straight or anything like that. You know what I mean? I don't see any of that. I see a human being and that's what I see. I see a person. I see a person that probably struggled in life, probably is content or probably is whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's really freaking me out because... You know, I've been pondering about 2020, even though it's tomorrow will be June, June 1st. Um, but I've been just kind of like pondering and thinking like something's going to happen. I feel like it's, there's going to be an apocalypse happening soon a rapture or whatever you want to call it, you know, and I'm. I'm really scared. Like, I'm... This is the first time that I could say that I'm fucking scared. And I see all these protests. You know, it happened with that other guy, that that other black guy that got shot by that cop, like, a couple of years ago. And I wasn't scared. But this one, it, it really... I don't know what it is, but, like, I think because it's hitting more my town than anywhere else. Um... It's really fucking scary. And all night, I've been hearing sirens. You hear it? And I'm at that point where I've been thinking long and hard about prepping. You know, I mean, what am, what am, what's all this prepping going to do if, if, if God decides to come down and, and, you know, get, you know, bring us all back up to heaven? You know what I'm saying? But like, at the same time, I'm like, this is scary. You know, like, I've watched the Purge movies, and I know what they're all about, you know? And I'm, I'm at that point where I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, what if that happens here? Like, in the country, or in the world, let's just say that. I'm not trying to freak anybody out, by the way. I'm just saying, like, you, you we gotta prepare for the shit. Like, what if something like that happens, but it's every fucking day? It's not just one night of the year, you know? And, like, here in our country, if our government, like, calls martial law, we're fucked. We're fucked. And I'm fucking scared. Like, I'm so scared. And I've been just doing a lot of thinking. Like, I want to move, but where do I move to? You know? Because it could happen anywhere. You know what I'm saying? It could happen. You know, all this shit could happen to anybody, everywhere, everywhere, and wherever you're at in the world, you know? It's like, where can I go from there? Space? Hell? Heaven? Saturn? I don't know. I'm just naming off some names, but it's just like, you know, I've just been thinking a lot about just what's going on this year, you know? And it's like, fuck, can we, can we skip 2020 can we not even think about 2020 can we just go to 2021 maybe 22 like please i don't know i've just been i've just been praying a lot lately and i'm praying for everybody out there including y'all and my family and my the people that are out there doing the you know, the protest scene and the marches and the policemen. I mean, and I'm just going to say something. Not all, and I'm not defending the justice system. I'm not defending policemen, but they're not all police officers out there are bad. You know, not all, not all police officers are bad. And, and I think people need to like realize like, you know, that motherfucker right there that did that shit to that that George guy, he, he's a dickwad, you know, like, I'm sorry to say that, but like, I mean, I seen this post where he fucking went to jail 
it's not and the thing of it is is what pisses me off the justice system is broke broken like in our country in the united states um i don't know how it is in other people's countries i i don't know but in my country the justice system is fucking broke and in order to fix it somebody's got to come up in there and grab it by the balls and turn it around because it is fucked up tremendously like i'm just saying and it's sad. You know, my kid, I mean, anybody out there that, that lives in the, you know, here in the States, you know what I'm saying? In the, in, you know, in the United States, like, and you have kids. To me, that's the scary part is my kid is seeing all this shit and thinks, and probably is going to grow up thinking it's okay to do this crap. And I don't want her to, I want her to know you know, I want her to know and understand that you have to love everybody, you know? You can't judge a book by its cover, you know? I've met people that I would look at and be like, okay, I don't want, I don't, I don't fuck with them, you know what I mean? And they were the coolest people in the freaking world, you know? And so scary that our our the next generation is going to be immune to this and thinking that it's okay you know and i i don't know i just i just i just needed to come on here and tell you guys that i'm seriously freaking scared i'm scared i'm just i don't know what's going to happen i don't know what's going on if it's if, if this whole shit is affecting anybody else in other countries um, especially like countries that are like near me, you know, like Canada and Mexico and, and places like that. But I just, I just want to know like what your opinions are on this shit. Like what is your opinions on all this rioting and the, the, po the, the marching peacefully and the protesting peacefully is cool. Like, you know, do that. I mean, that's fine. But when it gets to the point where you're destroying businesses, especially like smaller businesses owned businesses that are family owned you know what I mean that's all they have is that right there that's what they depend on hear that so another, I don't know if you can hear any of the background noises but it's been fucking sirens all night long but I just I'm praying for you guys and I hope that you guys are staying safe and you know you guys are just okay out there. I love you guys.